Uh, a large study that's, whose name is Lang Safe has been published in the JAMA uh, as an activity of the European Society of Intensive Care Medicine and the section on respiratory failure. This beautiful picture um, represents quite well the situation worldwide. Indeed, we are enrolled and participated to the study more than hundreds of inter ICUs in the world and were uh, screened for eligibility as a, a patients uh, with risk factors for developing RDS, almost 30,000 patients. Uh, out of that, uh, something like 3,000 uh, of them developed an RDS in various forms. So roughly 10% of all the potentially eligible patients admitted to the ICU. And uh, the mortality rate of this patient is still relatively high. Indeed, the survival rate, if you prefer, is something like 60-66%. And the hospital uh, mortality rate is roughly 60% as well. And the, their mm, median ICU stay uh, is relatively long because there is more than two weeks, 70 days at times and the duration of the invasive mechanical ventilation may exceed uh, one week, 10 days. So uh, quite a articulated conditions. And indeed, uh, uh, something like 30% of the, uh, all the RDS, also those who were in the milder forms, evolved versus serious forms, towards serious forms. Uh, developing some complications such as uh, infectious complications, namely uh, respiratory failure uh, uh, that uh, worsen the, uh, the initial picture. I think that uh, considering the mortality and the morbidity uh, of these diseases that still represent a major problem in all the ICUs in the world, uh, is important considering the trajectory, the therapeutic trajectory that these patients may have. Seven, eight percent of all these patients, regardless of their severity, are kept on spontaneous breathing. It means that, at least in the milder forms, you can start with a, a non-invasive approach. As soon as the, a patient uh, uh, just deteriorates his condition or do not resp do, do, doesn't respond to the initial uh, approach, um, may be intubated. And in, under these conditions, it is unavoidable to follow the generally most important recommendation, the protective ventilation. Small tidal volumes, uh, 6 ml per milliliters of body, ideal body weight, a plateau pressure which is below 30, and uh, the combination of volume, uh, of uh, uh, respiratory rate, and uh, 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 PEEP in order to keep the plateau pressure within a safety limit. However, new approaches coming from the, from the other side of the ocean, uh, from Brazil, with Marcelo Amato, proposed uh, a novel approach looking at the, the driving pressure, which is in principle the difference between the plateau pressure and applied and, and the PEEP. When also this approach in the initial phases doesn't work, what we can do? We can just do something that, again, the literature tells us that is uh, uh, scientifically plausible and effective. What? Just proning the patient. other kind of invasive monitoring that can help us to give also a volumetric evaluation uh, and the uh, amount of water which is within and uh, out of the lung. And at the same time, you may get use uh, conventionally the echocardiography. Even if this approach doesn't work, we have always uh, the final option that is always uh, still available, which is the extracorporeal life support, which means, in other words, the ECMO, the extracorporeal uh, membrane oxygenator. And under these conditions, in general, a venous venous uh, ECMO, uh, which is applied to RDS patients, uh, is, is possible to manage 
those patients who are more severe. Certainly measures that can uh, appear quite simple and obvious, but very important. On top of that early mobilization of these patients, because the possibility to start a physiotherapy and early mobilization, even uh, under mechanical ventilation, keeping these uh, patients mildly sedated or without any sedation, seems to be a real benefit for the outcome of this patient. So a, a strong recommendation, start the physiotherapy and rehabilitation uh, as early as you can. Another important point uh, that uh, is derived from the publication of the LungSafe is the unfortunately um, not uh, a, a, a the best performance in recognizing the syndrome. Indeed, uh, in the cases uh, of the mild RDS and moderate RDS, uh, doctors may fail in recognizing promptly the syndrome at times in something like 20% of the cases or even more. Probably the only thing to do is just uh, what we should do in any field of the ICU, education, education and education. We may say that uh, in the modern ICUs, as soon as you have to approach uh, uh, your RDS patients, you do have a gamma, a, an entire uh, package of possibilities in order to adapt to the different conditions of your patient and severity and having a high percentage of success wherever you are in the world.